welcome. And I'm so excited to speak to you because you are someone who's been part of my life and my life soundtrack for years. Yeah. And I have to say, you know, when you want to, you know, rally up yourself and you want to go out, you know, Shed Shabili is one of the songs that I <laughs> listen to, to get me in the mood, to get into a party. I mean, you've collaborated with over 200 people. I mean, I'm throwing a lot at you here because I'm really excited to have you here. <laughs> but I'm going to calm down. I'm going to slow down in a minute because we've got a podcast. We've got time to talk. Yeah. But it's... It's amazing that you could actually stop making music and you could live off the music you've already done, like so many artists have done before you. And yeah, but only for Sunny. First of all, thank you, sir, for that uh, tremendous uh, build up. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I haven't even started I, yet. I was saying, I even if started. I was in the mainstream, I could have stopped many years back, you know, but you know, this and the mainstream and ours, it didn't work that way, man. With royalties and everything, you know, it is, man. Yeah. So, so the main income for me is gigging. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't really work that way. Our record companies, you know, it, it ain't got to that level, mm. which I hope should maybe get there one day, you know? When we look at um, this industry, and especially the music industry, uh, the, you know, if you took at mainstream, uh, that you just mentioned, like people like, I don't know, uh, Robbie Williams and yeah, uh, yeah. Take That, they get a, they get an, an advance, then they get their royalties and everything has been lawyerfied so that you can't even steal somebody else's content and their creativity. Right. Why did we miss that trick here? We've been doing this here in this. We started Bhangra in this country, right? Right. Uh, in the 80s and early 70s. And then you have been here in the UK shouting and, you know, uh, waving the flag. Why haven't we come to a point where we can respect each other and make sure everyone's making money the way that the other industries do? Where do we fall behind? Well, because we're good it's, business people. But it is, man, because uh, you see, at one time, UK was the main hub, man. I'm yes, talking it was. When I was growing up, man, yeah. people like uh, Hira Group, man, yeah. Deepak Ajanchi, Legendary, yeah. Kaljeet Pamra, you know, these were the guys, man. And you had uh, bands like... Uh, from the Birmingham, you had like Balwinder Safri Bhaji, you know, Apna Sangeet man. Yeah, yeah. And before that, when my brother was singing the Mana group, Anari Sangeet Balti, Ashoka group, Token I know Ashoka, yeah. You know, Your brother was in that. I'm my brother was that. in the Mana group. Wow. And my Ji was in Ashoka group. So, Sathi group. Yeah. And the living legend, A.S. Kangji. Yeah, yeah. So, I was a little kid, I used to go with him, you know, to play tabla with him for many years. So, I've seen this three changes, I'd say. Yeah. Then... They got a bit modern, you know, up and Geet, man, nice white trousers and flashy t-shirts, you know, and yeah. Gita group with the white trousers and Premi group. And it all got, you know, we went to London kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. From Birmingham. The daytime is all of that. Yeah, I yeah. was part of that scene as well. So, Quite in trouble. Growing up, you know, and then uh, then it changed, you know. Then we it got a bit more modern as well. I started... Like myself, started bringing break, break beats Basin, in yeah, with yeah, the folk yeah. music, you know, but bass we, lines uh, and everything. When we saw someone like Bali Sagu do that ah, with uh, his mixtape, yeah, 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 and it was just like, I was, oh, wow, so we are allowed to listen to this music. We don't have yeah, to yeah. hide it from my mum and dad. And Apache Indian oh, famously wow. bringing his stuff into it. And uh, we were yeah. like, now I can listen to Bob Marley in the house and mum and dad ain't yeah. going to have a go. So I understand the evolution and the contribution of the diversity in the UK it had to influence each other, you didn't know, it? You know, saying that uh, Apache uh, Indian, he used to go to school with my big brother. I okay. went to the same school, Hansworth Boys School. Yeah. And his cousin brother used to live by the school, Simon and Diamond. Right, Simon and Diamond. And I remember my first actual music recording in 1989, Tall Beat. Yes. It was recorded at the studio. Yeah, yeah. And uh, to this day, I remember the studio bill was £720. And that money I used to, what I earned from playing gigs, you know, playing yeah. double up with someone, playing harmonium, whatever. He used to give me maybe twenty pound at that time when I'd just be saving the money, we'd give it to my mom. And I remember Patchy used to be there every day, you know, and in the studio and in the in the garden, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he's my amazing. big brother. Apache, yeah, legend. Because even now he's nurturing new talent. Yeah, yeah. And here in the UK, uh in Birmingham, uh, Soho Road, you'll find him here every Wednesday yeah, with his AIM yeah. Academy with young people are coming off the streets and he's you he's know, a straightforward guy, man, yeah. he's for real, you know. And so when you look at Birmingham and you look at the sound and, you know, you see all uh, your music, it's played everywhere. Every time there's a new social media app like TikTok, your song, I will hear your song somewhere because they're using it. You're always in uh, rotation. You've got new fans <laughs> coming, young people coming at you. So where do we lack where we can't support new talent? And and there's so much of it at the moment. How do you feel throughout the you know, Get your foot in there, man. It's all different, man. You know, it's all like in India, man, it's all... Monopoly kind of thing, you know, everything, man. Companies well, now. We've seen now, this so, in so, Bollywood, right? Huh? And look what happened in yeah, Bollywood. Yeah. It was exposed by that poor actor who yeah, yeah, committed suicide, him. and because yeah. it was just gatekeepers and said, yeah. right, 
you're not going to get any more films because we said you're not going to get any films. Is that the same in every industry? Do we find it's, that in... It's changing. Now, before, you, you know, when I, when I started off, I was making CDs, man. That was a lovely yeah. time, you know. And then I'd probably, I'll, I'll give the CD to UK, the movie box, Mr. Shabirji, Canada, Music Waves, and then India, I'll give it to some, some other company, you know. Right. You make some good money. Or if you're not getting the money, they get good videos, which is the same, yeah. you know. Vice versa kind of thing, you know. Ha, ha, ha. And then... Uh, when this social media come out, man, it was because they'll be doing strikes, you know, if they'll be striking. If someone put the video on here, the UK people would strike it. If they put it in India, they'll strike it. So it didn't really work out that way. You had to go with one kind of company. After. So then it was, uh, so as much as social media has helped so many independent artists, and we've seen that in the past, that the only way they could get any success because uh, they didn't have a foot in the door was social media that helped them get onto this yeah, platform. Now it's but very... at the same time, for artists like yourself, as soon as you did that, we found that you're, you're saying that um, they, you would then be blacklisted from other areas. No, it's instead. just like because it, when you got a song on YouTube in England, song you can't play in India and India, it doesn't work that way. It's very difficult because you know YouTube, everyone wants worldwide. Because at that time when we recorded these CDs, there was no social media. There was no, no there wasn't, there yeah, wasn't yeah, no yeah, YouTube. Yeah. You just play on the TV. That's it. Yeah. Channels, you know? Yeah. So when this come in, obviously it's a big, very big source. And yeah. then the companies, they want to. You know, people watching everything on the videos now, you know what I mean? So yeah. you'd have to change because you, to, you could only go with one company. It would be worldwide with one company, whatever. Uh -huh. If you release it yourself yeah. or you go with a company. But now for youngsters, you know, it's very easy, man. If you make a song, you can put it on your own channel and everything. You exactly, yeah. Lucky, you know? And is that what you find it frustrating that we're getting so much now? Anyone who's got a couple of grand in their pocket, they can find a producer like yourself yeah, yeah, yeah. and write a lyrics and put their face in the front. It's very easy now. What what happened to the new uh, kind of a race of singers? You know, they, they go to the writer and the writer will sing the song for them. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I've, I've seen this happen myself. He'll sing the song. Yeah. And okay, they got the song now. And they go to a producer and say, okay, man, put some break put beats in it. Yeah, yeah. Put some beats in it, you know. And, and and where we where we see uh you know where we see that dilution of this art, but then at the same time we can see why it happens because these individual artists who try to make a living, like you know the writers, the producers, and the people who are like I don't mind staying in the background, give me my money, I'll, that's an easy two grand for me, right? Yeah. So you can see that we, if we're not supporting those artists, maybe they will say no. If we had that kind of support mechanism yeah, yeah, yeah. within the Punjabi Asian community not only in india but here in the uk and canada and america where i guess we could put some kind of infrastructure together or do you believe because you've been in this game for years right yeah, and yeah. you are a legend you're a living legend and you continuously make amazing music which i want to talk about by the way yeah. uh, about your new track that's coming sure. out uh, but how do we find a way where we can support and just you know Make sure that someone can make a living once they do enter this kind of uh, industry. Like you're saying, you're still gigging. You see what it is now? It's very, saying that, Sunny, it's very difficult. Say someone, if you're releasing single tracks now, everybody, you know, and you got an artist who's very good. He releases one track and it does well. How's he going to get performances when he only got one track? You know, he'll sing it one yeah. twice, two songs, and then, be, be, then he'll be singing people's songs and that's like a karaoke, you know what I mean? <laughs> Unless he's got new songs <laughs> that people don't want. So it's you've got to have a, a bit of catalog to sing and you do a performance 100%. at least two, three hours. You need about 10, 15 songs of your own. 100%. I'm not even going to argue with that because so I'm an album person the, when myself. The, when the CDs were out there, you had, you had your songs, man, to do performance. You know, if yeah. someone's got two, three CDs, okay, man, this guy, he can perform. Yeah. He's got enough songs. But now they're not really bothered about that. You know, it's all like, uh, what would I say, commercialized. You know, I've got 50,000 views on my thingy, man. I've got 60,000 views. Like, I'm saying my channel, I haven't got... You know, my songs, even the play on weddings today, as in Kushi and Ankam, they haven't got a million, million views. Don't need it because yeah. you're a legend. But People, everyone knows everyone those knows songs, you know, yeah. so I don't know what, the, you know, sometimes because, someone uh, might say I got 80 million and you're saying, what's the song? You know what I mean? I, I never <laughs> heard it, so sorry to say. No, listen, I, I agree. And, you know, there has been this... Um, allegations that people can buy views and there's yeah, so many yeah. algorithms that you can manipulate uh, but when we look at you know artists like yourself and every time you do release a single or an album it is a worldwide event okay especially for the you know the community and the fans that follow you you are a big deal right and you are people people look at you as much as you don't realize people look at you and think he's still doing it and i can make it yeah, and yeah. you are a role model but I'm at the same time man. here on you know on this podcast you're giving us some real truths about if you're going to get into this, don't think that you're going to be a millionaire driving no, no, Lamborghinis no, 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 and stuff no, no. like that. You're, you're giving us the real truth of it. Mm. When you started out, and obviously your family are musically orientated, yeah. your brother was yeah. in the industry, and it, was it easy for you to get that support from your family 
And when did was there ever a time when they said, "Hot to in it, can't do that. Let's find another job." Apa kuch kholi? No, no, no. My dad used to love singing as well as my brother, you know. And like since I left school, you know, college, that's what I just got so busy just playing for, uh, instruments for people, you know, as a musician, man, and I loved it, man. And I mean, there were so many bands at that time, you know. Yeah. Every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'd be gigging, man. Wow. Then I'd be doing studio work in the weekdays. I didn't have time for anything else. Yeah. But now, it's very hard now, isn't it? Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, you don't. No one even wants to book a studio now. You just need a computer, really, basically. Mm. You know, you can have a laptop and you can make a song sitting here right now. Yeah. <laughs> and but that, it, it, do you think that's where we've lost some of that um, artistry? Now you, yeah, yeah, you're an instrument guy, and I, when you're even singing, I can hear in your voice you're like, like almost like a rapping, like da 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 da, and I'm like. You only an in, someone who can play instruments can make his voice yeah, and yeah. go to that rhythm. It's almost like a tumbi in your yeah. voice that you're doing, <laughs> and it's just like that, it's that kind of artistry that people love about you and that sound that comes out of you know someone who knows music. So, yeah. how do we then what, you know what, what it is then? Suddenly at that time, you have to you have to go to learn from someone, you know. Right. So the first thing is man, humanity. You yeah. have to bow down, you know. Yeah. And no one wants to do that now. That's the first thing. If you want to go to someone, yeah, you got to surrender yourself, kind of thing. Yeah. I want to learn, you know. Yeah. And now the, the kids don't want to do that. Man, you tell them to sit in, in a place just for half an hour, they won't do it. No. And you got to be sitting for hours playing an instrument and learning, you know. And it doesn't come overnight. It takes years and years. Yeah. But otherwise, on the computer, now it's just you know, you, you get plugins, man. You get loops from anywhere, you know. You just got to be good to get them from and yeah. how to join them up and cut and paste and so and so. But it, when you see that and then you see them doing it and every now and then you get one hit that might make it. But recently, the only person who's, you know, survived or a new artist that everyone's talking about is Sidhu Musibala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he didn't turn up overnight. I mean, his, his uh, you know, his songs have been on the Internet for over seven years and what yeah, have yeah, you. And, and, and now they've got traction and now he's getting traction. Now people are understanding the production. Yeah, yeah. And everything. So even for someone who's using YouTube and those platforms to make it. It doesn't happen overnight. No, no, but I mean, you keep on trying, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, people say, you know, you can try one song, two songs, three, ten. It doesn't, doesn't matter how doesn't many. You've got to have the passion first. And so then when you look at artists like him and when they do have a, a voice, uh, are they are they in, are you all engaging in a conversation together or is it very much separate uh, ways of people thinking? I mean, like a, a certain caliber, you would think that you have access to each other, Gurdas Man and Harpajan Man, and you know these are the guys who are in India who yeah. very much got the domination. They were doing melee at the you know in yeah. India. So I guess at a certain point, do you have this conversation with them about the industry and how will it move forward? How do we support younger people but also support ourselves so no, we can feed really. our families? No, yeah, no. everyone's just doing disconnected, their own thing, you know. So why yeah. why where's that unity? What, how do we bring them sort of? How do we bring everyone around the table so that we can have what you said? Like if we got an album deal, we all support that album. And if there is something that's happening in the industry where they've got beef against each other, at the moment I hear that it is, you know, people are you know tweeting each other and it's easy to have a fight over it, so, <laughs> and they're all like getting at each other. I'm not asking you to comment on what's no, going no, on. No, no. I'm just saying that how do we then you know see this kind of conflict, even though it generates news articles and whatever what, what it's it, not good for the industry is it, it makes what it is look... man uh sunny music is spreading love man that's yes. my yeah, yeah. perspective of it man there's no other you know it's not violence man it's not about guns or about you know i mean i got five six dog pit bulls or it's nothing to do with that man. <laughs> okay music is a message of love man yeah it has no religion you know right so you're just spreading the love man but then i mean everyone's gonna make a living you know when companies business it's all the business tactics you know and all this whatever i don't really get into that man i just love my music man yeah. and i just get on with it man you know so that's the best way to do it it's yeah. like if, if if someone's doing that music there's a space for it yeah. there's obviously an audience for and it a, good for the, you there's a room for everyone you know yeah and uh, with, with with that said now um you know there is obviously this uh idea that there's gatekeepers and there are you know artists who have been really badly stung over the you know we've interviewed individuals who are really excited they've got new albums and they've spent a lot of time perfecting their voices and getting mm. the right people on board. But then they don't get through the door. They don't get the exposure. They don't get onto playlists in certain platforms mm. uh, and saying that, oh, you're not going to make the A list or B yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, behind the scene. We're talking about behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, they're, and, and they are struggling just to, so that people can hear their music on a rotation in a reputable online space. Now, Brit Asia here, 
they have been supporting artists yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or you know from the time i've known them yeah. and if i didn't know about an artist i sometimes i find them on british, british yeah, yeah. so how do you then you know i don't know the question i'm trying to get to is how do we support these individuals when they aren't getting the dues that they are deserved with the hard work they're putting in because someone just said no you're not going to make it I mean, on the list it, end of walk Sonny, away that's a very good question there man and i me myself man like i was talking to shergil myself today i said we need new talent man yeah from uk yeah i was there was interview to me say who do you like i said i like everyone but i want to see more new talent right the, the new generation coming in you know yeah and i want to see them from uk born yeah yeah, yeah. from india yeah Sorry, yeah, yeah. You know? i get it from here man we're brit asia i'm a british artist i'm born in in, in britain you know uk so i want to see people bringing the music your hands was boy yeah hands was yeah, man yeah, yeah. For real <laughs> and then so i want to see more talent maybe they can have some like a, a special talent program i don't know something a well, radio they did, show but, they did have that yeah. right they had a talent show and there was a there was a, a campaign on the bbc where they were looking for new talent and so many people came out i mean if you know if you say britain's got talent yeah, if yeah. you just put in asians got talent yeah. we would have packed out those Yo. stadiums all day long and there is a lot of talent but it's the support mechanism that you're saying that is not always there but it is because any youngster now he's got fire and it, there's a, if he passes that period then the fire kind of goes and he goes into other things yeah like i say i always encourage youngsters and their parents i said if he wants to learn an instrument man that's the best thing in the world i'm telling you yeah pehli the gall hai ha bad company to bachda theek hai is there a bad shit going outside you know yeah You be with, uh, with the music man on his computer it's lovely thing you know yeah. you, when you're creating something yourself you feel good i've created this beat up i've done this you know yeah. so encourage them and and you know maybe on a radio session they can have new talent to half an hour it doesn't have to be much you know what i mean i just play yeah. the best ones just tell people to send in their music and just play the best five six ones i think you i know? think you've hit on the head maybe we need to get you on brit asia and start looking yeah, at yeah, that don't and have we'll to do be, a show you together you can just start with half an hour you know yeah and i i think that's a really good idea yeah. sending your tapes and then yeah. you uh, expert yeah. in uk music and the history of it and you might be able to be a judge i'm going to talk to share gil afterwards and say yeah, yeah. can we get this man locked down even so, on radio you know bbc or whatever new talent man we got to bring it up brit from you Okay, you know? Yeah, I 100% agree with that yeah. because there is a lot of talent here that doesn't it's always okay, get okay, the exposure. It's okay. If I'm representing British and I'm playing Drake songs, what does that? Yeah, that doesn't mean nothing to him. No, it if, doesn't. No, huh? because he's already getting yeah. that support, and it's nice that if you like that music, you can find it here. Yeah. But like you said, we need to support the yeah. ones who aren't getting that. So let's talk about you know you're still making music, yeah, and yeah, I'm man. so glad you are. <laughs> but I know that you could retire and you could still make money <laughs> off the stuff that you've already done because I'm still playing it. My daughter's. Yeah. I mean you're doing during lockdown uh your YouTube channel right <laughs> has been on continuously in the background Thank right you. because you're sitting there uh, in near your patio with your tabla and <laughs> and you're playing music and it's just like you're going into one song after another song after another <laughs> song where did that idea come from was it because uh, your family were bored or you were you bored and oh, and so I was uh, thinking what I'm going to do you know I mean I've been I've done singing a lot of songs on harmonium new compositions and I was thinking Jitender here and Popsy you know and they were saying maybe just sing make up hit songs you know you got a lot of songs out there some songs that people they still listen today and what in you make a kind of medley and i said can why not then and, and i said that keep me on my toes as well you know yeah, yeah, yeah. because you have to keep practicing you know like especially tabla if you don't play it for uh, 3 4 months you, you won't you, you can't get the syllables out really yeah it's I very did not difficult know that. it's like muscle memory is not it's there a, it's, it's just a like a very technical instrument tabla okay not the doll no no you, i know what that side ha ha and you, the sound comes out yeah. just to get the ta out you know it takes maybe 6 months if someone learning just to go ta 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 <laughs> so these kind of things you know and uh, keep practicing and i was you know kept busy man <laughs> Mate, I'm th- thank you so much i'm a big subscription to that and that's i was doing cooking for the kids and yeah, practicing so yeah. and then exercising that's all i was doing man <laughs> look you look amazing <laughs> and you, uh, you've got a new single coming out yeah. right you've got a new single coming out which is part 2 to a first one yeah. so tell us the story behind this uh, uh, single and yeah. where okay tell me the story about the whole thing why it took so long for part 2 uh, to come well, out well you know part 1 that was in my first album gal sonja in 2003 end of 2003 yeah so only like the uh, featuring hmc right it was a garage rapper kind of so he's got yeah, yeah. that fast flow you know very good friend of mine from northampton yeah and uh, that's my kind of identity of that fast you know okay um tere wala vichla cheer kare sare dil te phere teer kare tu saadi hai tak teer kare tere akhiyan vich sadveer kare sare soni ban ja heer kare san tere naal ho gaya pyar jado akh matkaave sanu soni lagdi ni jado gutt mukaave sanu soni lagdi one of my favorite songs of yours man seriously so when you, love it when you say in sunny number 2 because this song even today is fresh you know yes so 
But then a lot of people are saying that fast flow, man, we want to, you know, bring back that fast flow. And uh, I think, you know, okay, man, because I'm not a man for sequels, really. I've never done a sequel before. I know. Yeah. Well, I could have done uh, Rambo 9. I could have done Rambo <laughs> 10. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I love it. Yeah. yeah so yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking, yeah, but, and so that's why really, and then this one. I've just bring this fast singing, man, all the way kind of thing. It's, it's like so, you're driving your car in the fifth game and that's it, man, all the way. I love that because, you know, when you do do that, and this is what I was saying to you, it's like someone who's an instrumentalist, that ding, 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 uh -huh. ding, ding, ding. It, it sounds like a thumbi playing, yeah. but it's like, so when you're finding that rhythm, I mean, like, far as I'm concerned, that's Punjabi rap right there. Yeah, yeah. Right? And instead of trying to, everyone trying to incorporate English words, you just did it pure uh, with Punjabi, Punjabi yeah, yeah. and it just sounds brilliant. And I thought we're going to hear more of that, but we had to wait this long for a sequel to come. So... Tell us a bit about the song and yeah. uh, tell us how long it took you to get everyone together to make this happen. Well, it's just me and HMC. Like I say, it's only me in the studio, you know, and okay. Tom, Larry, that's it. I don't, it's not like I got an orchestra there, I play okay. the instruments myself. Everyone knows that, you know. Yeah. So that's why I remember everything, which in any song that I've done, I remember when I'm listening to it because I played everything, you know. Yeah. And uh, so this one. It took a while now getting the lyrics because to find the fast lyrics is very hard, you know. Of course. Da -da 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 yeah. Like if I'm just go like this, what lyrics are gonna fit here? It's very difficult. Yeah. Rather if I go da 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 da, -da you can get a lot of lyrics, you know. Right. Because you got way, but this one you got no gaps, it's got, and right. they gotta Why? they gotta make they gotta rhyme and they gotta sound and they gotta make sense. The main thing is. Of course. It's not like a, you know, uh, when the. Rap, you can they can make they swear to each other and make millions of pounds. Yeah. I, I, I didn't get my head around that, you know. I said by swearing up to people, they come million years. Yeah, you know? I know exactly. <laughs> it's just as soon as you hear something out of the ordinary, you think, oh wow, and they catch on that yeah. one word. But when you listen to it and spell it out, like, uh -huh. fuck yeah, I mean, so, you know, I, mean, I get what you're saying. So that's what it is, man. And uh, getting it together, especially the fast parts, that takes a lot of time, you know. Right. It, yeah. So when you when you put it together, when you need to tell the world, then the world is in the world. 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 <laughs> Come on, high five that one, bro. Seriously, smashed it. I can't wait. Oh, so, you know. Bruv, seriously. <laughs> and you've got it there. It's just like, you switch it on. It's just brilliant. So, it's very <laughs> difficult, you know, even for me, this one, man. So, let's see. That's difficult. You just you just sat here and just <laughs> blasted it out in no time. It's, I'm, I'm so writing excited. it, then the parts down, you know, writing it. And it's, yeah. Uh, it's, that's, this is the main, because you know, this kind of style, if I tell some other writer, I yeah. told maybe some writers and I said, I want to write like this and they just say, forget this man. Yeah. We ain't getting into that. <laughs> no, but it's true though, right? Because it is a different way of writing, yeah, yeah. a different it's, way it's of finding a, it. It's not a typical way of writing, you know, like a writer would write a, he'd write a verse, and then yeah. write an antra and then two antras, maybe three, that's it, man. Done. The chorus, there you, you go. Know? And yeah, that's four done. grand. Thank you very this much. This got that kind of format, you know, yeah. it's kind of freestyle. Uh, I love it. It's just, I'm so excited that you're doing this because that was one of the, you know, when you look at your collaborations album and you've got like three of them out there, right? Easy. Yeah. And every time you've worked with an artist and you, and it's exciting because you bring something else out in them. Yeah. And that's what, uh, that's why it's always exciting to see you produce. You know, the collaboration, Sunny, I'm to say every artist I've worked with, I always had them in my imaginary mind, you know? Yeah. Like you say, it was a Raad Fat Ali Khan. Yeah, yeah. Had him in vision, you know, be one of the key style. Key style. Key uh, uh -huh. if, you, if you're going to get someone on board, they got to feel it as well. Otherwise, they won't. They're yeah, big, yeah. big, they're, they're massive artists, you know. They don't need nothing to prove, nothing no? to no one. Yeah. So when he heard it as well and he, he liked it, he says, Oh, it's Raj Fatali Khan, Sabana Vikasaga. There's a next one coming out with Raj as well. When is that going to come out? That's ready, you know, which is working on the video. I love that. Yeah. And the thing is that when you do work with these legends and this, and don't forget, I say legends in the way that yeah, they, they have, br they're bringing a history with their music. I mean, their whole they're family. They're generations of history, man, you know. There you go. Of thinking, yeah. you know. And this is what I'm saying. And then you, and then now you are there from, you know, uh, from England, right? This yeah. guy come from England and goes, I understand what you're doing, mate. I know you're a family doing <laughs> generations, but here you go. Here's uh -huh. my take on what you're doing. And then, to blend it in and it, they appreciate it as well. Yeah. Not just the public, the, even Radha at the finished product, he was very happy with it and he said, very well done.
And he know. plays it now in his... Yeah, uh, he sings the gumsum everywhere he yeah. goes, you know. It's one of my favourite tracks of his Otherwise that he's ever he's, done. Otherwise, he's got... Th- uh, can't stop, he's got millions of songs he can sing, you know. But so if true. people requested that, he likes it himself and he sings it on the stage, you know. Yeah, and then when you do approach artists like uh, a Gurdas man, I mean, ah. I know one of my first ever concerts in the UK was in uh, in London, right? And it was in Greenford. And uh, there's this promoter who just took over the town hall and he had a Gurdas man on the stage and his band. And we were all just like it's a wedding almost. Well, but everyone was in, but everyone was standing around the sides and everything. It was, a, and it was just like the typical kind of here's an Asian artist, here's all the Asians just came to watch him, right? <laughs> and it was one, of, and I was like, what, maybe eight years old? And I still well, remember that. And it was like, he, he, and that music and his voice, and they say, if you want to get rid of a culture, get rid of the language, right? Well, well. I was already encaptured. So I needed to learn Punjabi. I need to understand what was he saying. So, you know, when you look at your history and you've obviously been brought up in music, yeah. Punjabi history with your family. Yeah. Do you remember a time when you fell in love with the language? See, me, the language and the instruments, I used to love when there was little, my brother used to sing, you know, and he was a great fan of, who was in Rafi Saab. Yes. And he'd be listening to good, the A-class Kirtan Wale, Taram Singh Zakhmi. Wow. You know, these kind of Muskeen Ji, and I'd be hearing these things, and I'd be hearing these great Kirtan people, you know, and he used to listen to Mehdi Hassan as well, the Ghazal Maestro, Come you know, Iqlam Ali, and I'd be hearing these, and I'd be hearing this double, and I'd say, oh, <gasps> you know, and then. I just love it, man. The sounds, that's what the kind yeah. of people say to me, why you use Sangeeva? I said, I just love it, man. It's, it's like, a, I love the Indian sound, the Indian culture, the Indian richness of the instruments. I just love it, man. So when you do your Dharmic albums with, yeah. uh, and again, I, I refer back to, you know, when you worked with uh, uh, Jazzy B and mm. that album came out, Jadad Bab Bin and everything like that. And uh, it just, those are, you know, the, the songs that almost, They've been there for ages. There's just talking about our, you know, religion ah. and moving forward as 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 a community. But at the same time, you had your own twist to it yes, that yes. sounded modern, but not too but not, not and too traditional much. in this. In the two, you were in the in, you had the balance just right. How important was it for you to do? Yes, because uh, you know that religion like that? is the first album was Satguru Mera, mm. and there was a jo one song jo both mere dil de nazdeekya. Hanji, we pagadi de upper. And that song, wherever I go, I sing it. And youngsters, you know, in the video, at the, it was an English chap at the window. I don't know if you remember seeing the video. And he brings the turban and he's saying, yeah, I understand the value of this now. Yeah. I'm sorry, you know. Yeah, yeah. So it was like a message. And the youngsters, it was just to connect to the youngsters. Because, you know, people who are brought up in India, they know everything, you know. I can't yeah, tell them. It's given. But it's about the young generation, you know. If, it can, if they can just learn a little bit, even two, three lines or get a good message from a song that's my job done you know mm. and when when, uh, when you and jazzy first met i guess and that story's been told so many yeah, times yeah, yeah. right but when you first met did you know that you were going to make albums that were in this way or did you or did you how did that conversation no, come did that, you go before to him i met him i was already working with albums you know uh, well, the dharmic ones i'm talking about no yeah, because yeah. i yeah. started up playing tabla in the kirtan Right. So you're the, already there uh, in that ten. space. I wow. Te, my brother used to do great kirtan. And he'd say to me when I used to play the tabla, he said, Tabla ni bhiana, vaj bhi na naal. I used to get shy. He go, no, no. He said, <laughs> yeah, he goes, the good singer must know about the tabla and the tabla player must know about the singing. Come on. Gal ban diya. Surte taal. Thiga. This combination. Na? Yeah. Ha. So he goes, ye ek pasyo nahi nu pata. So basically, it's like uh, you riding a uni- unicycle as opposed to a cycle. Ah. So you need both wheels yeah. to ah. make it work. When you look at um, when you look at Bollywood and how much they are taking, not taking, I think, are using and experimenting, and also uh, some of the most successful songs are Punjabi orientated yeah, or yeah. a bit influenced by Punjab, uh, and uh, and you, do, you sometimes see they don't always get the accreditation. Uh, and then you see the certain artists that made it in there. And I'm surprised they're not bringing other people with them to say, look, we've got more great talent from yeah. that. <laughs> why, why is that, you know, transition into Hindi music? Why is only a, a group of them? R, uh, RDB like, from the know, UK made Yeah, it. yeah. He done very well yeah. managing them, you know. Yeah. And Akshay Kumar helped them a lot, you know. 100%, yeah. yeah he helped them a lot. Yeah. So, you know, you just need, you need someone to get the kind of through the door, you know, and some lot of people who got their groups, like you, some music director, he might have his fixed singers, you know, Fine. and this company might have his fixed singers, you know. So it's hard to just break in through yeah, that. Yeah, so yeah, again, yeah. we talk about gatekeepers, what we started yeah, from the yeah. beginning in, in Hollywood and Bollywood. Unless someone get lucky and he gets some hit songs, you know, then they'll be after running after, you know. 
So that's what you got. But you've been hit, making hits for years. And yeah, I'm just saying about that, the new comedy. You know, okay, people are saying to me, why didn't you go to Bombay? I said, listen, I'm happy doing my stuff. I know, yeah. I'm not going to sit in it. Bombay and three and make compositions. I got this, I got this. I've been, yeah. I'm making my own songs, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, but I'm just saying that. Is yeah. there something that you, because I know that your music has also been used uh, in mainstream. Yeah, uh, yeah, and you know, so it's not like you haven't been part yeah, of that yeah. stream, and a lot of people don't know your your music has been used all over the world uh, on the mainstream, not le necessarily Bollywood. But uh, when you look at you know the you know the influence and the music uh, and how it can fit and yeah. adapt to any kind of genre, yeah. are you is it frustrating to you that sometimes you don't get the opportunity to bring that in there and say, look, no, I wouldn't be frustrated, Sunny, because it, I'm busy, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, I yeah, know, work, yeah. Man, if I didn't have work, it maybe it'd be a different thing. You know, okay. we're thinking, you know, what I mean, use my song, is use this. A lot of people took this or whatever I don't really get it. I'm busy doing my own thing man that's yeah. okay you know when I, my first tape tour will be come out and a lot of uh, I meet a lot of DJs now we use that break I said, yeah good man it's use it all you want man do you yeah. mind I, said, I don't mind nothing <laughs> <laughs> spreading, spreading the love man I said you whatever you want to don't bother me and as an artist now that you, you know the, I see you uh you know like a legend right you you for me yeah. are people like I'm surprised I'm even talking to you, right? But, <laughs> no, then, no, no, but no. you're still promoting your albums. You're so humble and you're so giving and with your information that you're giving, being honest about the industry and how hard it is. But at the same time, there are some perks to this industry as well, right? Because you yeah, have yeah. a voice and you can make a difference. And you yeah. have. Um, is it important uh, for, uh, you know, artists to choose when they get to a certain level and be careful what they're saying? Because they are influencing other individuals. It's just, it's, see, when, the, when an artist gets to a such a level what does he want to achieve mm. that's the individual thought you know okay like me i do mm. devotional songs it's not that the company company don't want no interest in devotion yeah. it's just my what i feel you know it's like me giving something back the gurujis what they've done for us have nothing right we can never give back that yeah but just for the culture you know and if people listening to me i think it's my i should give a good message as well i've sang social songs as well you know on drugs as well yes you have yeah yeah and, uh, and not just uh, on and religious as well, but social matters, you know, about mothers, fathers, love, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My person I say who doesn't respect his mother and daddy ain't gonna get nothing. Gonna get any father. No yeah. matter where you go, you can go mandar, you can go masjid. But if you ain't respect your mother and dad, mm. that's the where it starts from, you know. Yeah. And is this uh, is this uh, your children and uh, I guess the family? Are they still big fans of when you release a new single or album? And they're like, all right. All right. They don't you, listen you to my music. They don't, use, they don't use my music. They don't <laughs> listen to my music. <laughs> <laughs> the, so who do they listen to at home? They what listen they, to Drake and all this, you know, whatever they want. Yeah. There's so many out there now, you know. And so, do you get influenced by something? Some of the stuff? Yeah, I listen to, to some stuff. I love, like music, you know. But uh, I'm telling the Indian music and uh, the old film songs or. So because you still listen to it? I just let them, man. So that's on your playlist, your old Indian songs yeah, and stuff yeah, yeah. like that. And uh, if you were, if you were to, um, you know, if I was to go into your car right now, what would you play for me? You love my Ustaji's uh, recordings, you know, live. Live recordings. They say some people they say, "Be what do you listen to?" Yeah, they say, yeah. "Sing what kind of thing?" And then I sing one for you. I say something like. Uh, so uh, someone won't understand, you know, but this kind of thing I listen to. That is, you know, uh, like Nasir Fateh Ali Khan, like he goes on, uh, on, a, on, a, on a trance this is for like about a, 15 minutes. They this call is, this Bandash, you know. Bandash? It's a Bandash, yeah. Composition okay. in Raag. Right. Raag Miyam Kimalar. Hanji. So this is this Bandash. This is kind of things, you know, what I'm, I'm learning and these are the things that I get inspiration from. Like, right. you know, Gare Gajarari, that's like the first you can get little parts you can make for it. I put in my songs, you know, Punjabi yeah. songs. Yeah. This is where little pieces like this. Just to give that kind of flavor. <laughs> so if if now, you know, with the uh, what we've had in the world pandemic with the coronavirus and it's, you know, hit the industry really hard. And as a result, there's a lot of artists uh, from everywhere around the world who can't perform because you can't get in front of an no, audience. No, you can't. So, you know, what is the industry going to look like after the coronavirus or during if with the lockdown coming out? Can we see us, you know, going back to see, halls or are there going to be out? I don't know, Sunny, but just... See, that's the individual thing. Like, say for the lockdown, for me personally, I'm talking about yes, now. Yes, I could have yes. just stopped still, you know, and I didn't do anything. But I kept, that's my life music, man. You know, yeah. I was putting videos on and just to keep myself moving, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To keep practice. It's not, 
if I ain't got no gigs, I ain't gonna sing no, I ain't gonna play no instruments. <laughs> it ain't that way. That's not it. Okay. So it, de- it depends what you want out of it, man. So I guess when you, look- I know it, it, uh, no one's got any gigs, but I'm saying everyone's health will be well, man. Of course. That's the main thing, you know. Don't and- matter about show, you can get them maybe next year or the other year if your health health is wealth. Yeah. Or look after your elders and just keep to the rules and regulations. I see people they don't following no rules or nothing, you know. But yeah, yeah, it's wrong, you know. So is this something about that others. you would think about twice? If someone offered you a gig in the next two months or maybe in no, January? No, it's already you, been offered. I said, no, man, I'm not going. So you're already yet. saying no, no, no because no. it's not safe at this time. No, no, it's not safe. Mate, that's amazing. You know what? Um, I can't wait for your uh, single part yeah. two because I'm a big fan of Thank what, you, what you've just done. It's amazing. One of my favorite songs of yours of all time has to be, uh, you know, um, Thal, I think it is, um, uh, the actual word, where you're re- writing a letter home. Jitti. Yeah. That's the one. That's one of my favorite songs. Even though I'm born and bred in the UK, I've been to India. I've spent yeah. a lot of time in my pen in just a while. And uh, Ludhiana and well, uh, and Emgrad Mandi. So I know all of my history. Well, I know my house, where we came from. And when I heard that song, when I came back, and uh, when I came back, and uh, years I was like here, and I didn't go back to India for a while, but I always had memories like I was there yesterday. Then well, that song came out. Mate, I was crying. Well, I was crying so much. I was like, dude, that's my grandfather who left his home. That was yeah, my ancestry you who know, they, they came went around. They yeah. worked so hard, man. You know, we got to... No one, I mean, you tell the youngsters now, they don't really know, but these, how hard they worked for us, man. Yeah. And I just know? have to say thank you, man, because you, oh. you, have, you are making music, you have made music that's affected me in so many different ways, you, in man. an emotional way, in a way where I got bravado <laughs> and uh, made me think of Punjabi music in a different, you know, in a different tech, especially with this one coming out, because I thank love you. the way that you rap in Punjabi, as far as I'm concerned, it's Punjabi rap. Yeah. Uh, but I'm just, I hope it does well and I hope it carries on doing well because... You are someone who's always flying the flag for the UK, number one, but also for the culture and also in the, you know, the way you bring music together. And I'm, not, and I'm fanboying here. I'm going to be honest no, with no, you. No. I'm a big fan of yours. And, uh, and I'm just grateful that I got this time to talk to you. Thank and you, if anyone you. is listening and who are struggling and who are not getting through that door, who aren't getting on the playlists, you know, what kind of advice can you give just them? Just keep at it, man, and just try, you know, like you got your social network now. You can just start getting videos out, get a video every week, you know? Yeah. Someone, you know what I mean? Show someone who hear it, man, and you build your fan base up. You know? I love it. I mean, there's a lot of YouTube stars. People come, you know, they're doing well just by, you know, even chat shows, YouTube stars. Yeah, yeah. So you don't have to go be knocking someone's door. Get your confidence and get do something that the people come looking for you, man. I'm I sure love they will, that. man. And how do people find you on social media? Uh, Sukhshinder Shinda is all Twitter man if you put it on SukhshinderShinda.com it's all there and I want to thank everyone for supporting the channel it's only been a, it ain't been long you know but I've got a lot of subscribers and people loving the live videos and watch out for the late there's going to be one video now which is very close to my heart it's me playing Dool with my star Jilal Singh Pati first time ever Come on. so that's that'll be on the channel as well mate I'm a big fan of that channel is, 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 I mean uh, I just want to say he's getting old now but I requested it and uh, humbly you know and uh, and he says, yeah, so I went to America last year and I was touring and we went to the studio and re- yeah. recorded that session. I can't <laughs> wait. I can't wait. Uh, guys, yeah. thank you so much for joining us on uh, Straight Talk here with Sunny and Shay. Shay's not here because I wanted to speak to one of my favorite um, artists of all time without any interruption from my wife. But uh, hopefully we'll get more of these one-to-one talks with industry professionals. But also uh, you can find all our information on Brit Asia TV, but you can also find me and Shay on Instagram, Twitter, and just type in Sunny and Shay, you'll find us. So thank you for joining us. And anyone else you want me to talk and get some straight talk out of, I mean, you can see it's a pleasant conversation with real uh, information. So give us a shout on uh, the email as well. Take care.